Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pa, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to go through an exercise involving redox reactions. Alright, so let's take a look at this exercise. When iron reacts with equals iron 3 ions, iron 2 ions are formed as their only product. So we have an instance where a final mixture after the reaction has taken place contains equal numbers of moles of iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus equals. So assuming the reaction has gone to completion, how many moles of iron metal and iron 3 plus equals ions were in the starting mixture. And we are given four options, number of moles of iron metal versus the number of moles of iron 3 plus ions. And we have four different permutations. So later we will need to run this through. Now the first thing we need to handle for this question is to determine the overall redox reaction. Now it is a pretty straightforward reaction, but we need the overall balance equation so that we can compare mole ratio, right? So the reaction is between iron metal with iron 3 plus ions to give me iron 2 ions. So effectively, if I want to determine the redox reaction, the idea will be here. I know that iron metal will undergo reaction to give me iron 2 plus. I know that iron 3 plus ions will react to give me iron 2 plus ions. So there is a redox reaction here. Iron will be oxidized to iron 2 plus. Iron 3 plus will be reduced to iron 2 plus. So what I can do is I can determine the type of process taking place. Iron to iron 2 plus, this is an oxidation. And iron 3 plus to iron 2 plus, this is a reduction. Because from oxidation state 0 to plus 2, this is an increase in oxidation state, oxidation. And from iron 3 plus to iron 2 plus, this is a decrease in the oxidation state. So therefore, this is a reduction. Now, next thing is, of course, I have to balance these two half equations, right? So the steps involving balancing this half equation is pretty straightforward. Iron is already balanced. I just need to balance the charge. So I need two electrons on the right-hand side to balance the charges for the first half equation. So that left-hand side is neutral, right-hand side is also neutral. And then involving my reduction half equation, iron 3 plus on the left hand side, iron 2 plus on the right hand side. So therefore, I'll need one electron on the left hand side to balance the charge. So iron 3 plus plus electron to give me iron 2 plus, this will be the reduction half equation. So essentially, this is pretty simple to balance because we don't have other species to balance. There's only iron that we will have to consider. So we will just add electrons to balance the charges. And remember, oxidation is defined as the loss of electrons or the gain in oxidation state. So therefore, we will find the electron on the right-hand side of the half equation, while reduction is defined as gain of electrons or a decrease in the oxidation state. So therefore, electrons will be found on the left-hand side of the half equation. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add these two half equations together so that I can get the overall balance equation, right? I will need to modify the reduction half equation so that I also have two electrons here. And then later when I add this up, the two electrons can cancel. So basically for the reduction half equation, what we will need to do is we will need to double this half equation. Then when I add the oxidation and reduction half equation together, I'll end up with something like this. I'll have iron metal reacting with two of my iron three plus because this I will need to double the reduction half equation. So this will be 2 iron 3 plus. The electrons actually will cancel, so we can leave that out because I will have two electrons for the reduction half equation, two electrons for the oxidation half equation. When we add them together, there will be two electrons on both sides of the half equation. It will cancel out. Then I will have 1 iron 2 plus from the oxidation half equation, 2 iron 2 pluses from the reduction half equation, we add this up, overall this will be 3 of them, 3 iron 2 plus. So this will be my overall balance equation, 1 iron metal reacting with 2 iron 3 pluses to give me 3 iron 2 pluses. Okay, next we can run through the options. Once I've determined the overall redox reaction, because I need that for the mole ratio, then we will have to systematically run through based on each of the options, the number of mole of iron metal added and the number of mole of iron 3 plus added then what will be the resultant solution? Now, personally, I find using the ice table a lot faster because very quickly and very concisely, I can determine the overall resultant solution and I can figure out the outcome 
very very easily now if we refer back to the question you notice what the question one is after the reaction has taken place that means at the end of the reaction the resultant solution i'll have equal number of moles of iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus so later we will have to compare the number of mole of iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus and we see the resultant solution the answer that we want is where the number of mole of iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus it is exactly the same so using the ice table it allows us to determine the resultant solution and compare the number of mole of iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus very easily okay so let's try this on option a option a you're given one mole of iron metal and two moles of iron 3 plus ions so the initial number of mole of iron and iron 3 plus is already here at the beginning we don't have any products so the number of mole of iron 2 plus will be zero so this represents the initial amount of the substances this c is the change and this e it is the end of the reaction then the next thing we have to figure out it is the limiting reagent right so if one mole of iron react with two moles of iron 3 plus and i'm adding one mole of iron and two moles of iron 3 plus then basically there's no limiting reagent these two are exact amounts so if it is exact amounts then we can figure out this reaction easily no problem but let me write this down first in this scenario we will have exact amounts so therefore there's no limiting reagent or both of them will be completely reacted off so the reaction is one mole of iron will react with two moles of iron 3 plus to give me three moles of iron 2 plus so the change will be a minus one this will be a minus two because these are reactants and you'll be used up so therefore it'll be a negative sign plus three because this is a product that will be formed so therefore it will be a plus so the mole ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 3. So therefore, the number of mole change will also be 1 is to 2 is to 3. So I can add these two rows up. At the end of the reaction, this will be 0. Then this will also be 0. And this will be a 3. So this will be my resultant solution. I don't have any iron. I don't have any iron 3 plus. I'm only left with 3 moles of iron 2 plus. Of course, the question wants us to compare the number of mole of iron 3 plus and the number of mole of iron 2 plus. And we want the amount where the number of mole of these two ions it is exactly the same obviously in this case i don't have the same number of mole of iron 3 plus and iron 2 plus so therefore this is not the answer that we want and we can eliminate option a okay next how about b now we roughly have the idea right the method it is exactly the same so what we will just have to do is we have to consider the reaction and which is limiting and we decide what is the amount of the reactants form and then we subsequently determine the resultant solution and we compare the amount of iron 3 plus and iron 2 plus at the end of the reaction so if i have one more of iron plus three moles of iron 3 plus then basically comparing these two guys which one is limiting iron will be limiting because i only have one more of iron and you react with two moles of iron 3 plus and then i have excess iron 3 plus so therefore i know that this is the limiting reagent so maybe let me write this here i know that iron in this case is limiting so 100 percent of iron will be used up so the change of iron will be a minus one same thing this is one is to two is to three so the change row will follow the mole ratio one is to two is to three so this will be minus one minus two plus three remember reactants are used up so this will be a negative sign products being formed so therefore this will be a positive sign I add these two rows up i'll get the resultant solution i don't have any iron left not surprising because this guy is a limiting reagent i will have one mole of iron 3 plus left and i'll have three moles of iron 2 plus so this is the resultant solution same thing if i compare these two guys do i have the same number of mole of iron 3 plus and iron 2 plus obviously these two guys are different right so therefore option b is also not the answer that we want all right next for part C, again the method it is the same. Comparing these two guys, one mole of iron with five moles of iron 3 plus. So iron in this case again it is limiting. So this is again the limiting reagent. I'll expect 100% of iron to be used up. So this would be a minus one, minus two, plus three. Same thing at the end of the reaction, I just need to add these two up and I'll end up with zero moles of iron metal. 3 moles of iron 3 plus and 3 moles of iron 2 plus so this is the answer you notice because the amount of my iron 3 plus and iron 2 plus at the end of the reaction 
it is exactly the same. So this is the one that we want. All right, so you notice I've indicated here the number of more of ion 3 plus and ion 2 plus. In this case, it is the same. And this is exactly what is being requested in the question. So we know that the answer for this question will be option C. All right, lastly for option D, of course we have already figured out the answer, but let's just run this through. Option D, if I have two moles of iron and three moles of iron 3 plus, then what will the resultant solution be? Now, if I compare these two guys in this case, if I am using 100% of my iron, which is two moles, then according to the mole ratio, I actually need four moles of iron 3 plus, but I don't have sufficient iron 3 plus, right? I only have three moles of iron 3 plus. So therefore, the limiting reagent in this case now will be iron 3 plus. So I know that the limiting reagent will be iron 3 plus. 100% of iron 3 plus will be used up. So this will be a minus 3. If I compare mole ratio, if this is 1 is to 2, if I have 3 moles of iron 3 plus used, so therefore the number of moles of iron used up will be minus 1.5. Remember, this is half of it because the ratio is 1 is to 2. So this one will be 1.5 is to 3. Then once I have this as 1.5, then I can compare mole ratio for iron to iron 2 plus. This ratio is 1 is to 3. So if this is 1.5, this value will be 3 times 1.5. This will be a 4.5. And this is a plus 4.5. So the change rule in this case will be a minus 1.5, minus 3 plus 4.5. Finally, I can add these two rows up to get the resultant solution. I'll end up with 0.5 moles of iron, no iron 3 plus, since this is the limiting reagent, and I have 4.5 moles of iron 2 plus. Obviously, this is not the answer. Again, if I want to compare iron 3 plus and iron 2 plus ions, I have different number of moles of these two guys. So D, of course, will not be the answer. Alright, so we have gone through this pretty simple exercise. So you notice what we have to do is we have to balance the redox reaction in the first place so that we can get the mole ratio and then we use a little bit of mole concept to try to determine the resultant solution and then we compare whatever the question want us to compare. In this case, we want to compare the amount of iron 3 plus and iron 2 plus ions so we can determine the resultant solution very quickly using the ice table and then we do the comparison based on whatever the question requires us to do. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.